guys, Briar Barn here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your Briar Barn look more realistic. Okay, the number one tip is to make your own barns. I know this can be really complicated, but Briar Barns can tend to be really expensive, from ranging from $100 to a really large amount. But I know my barns aren't finished because the door is missing, but I'm not planning to put a door. I'm going to put a chain. It's going to be like a stall guard, and there's going to be two jump rings, one on either side, glued, hot glued together, and um, a chain going right here. You could use string, but I find the chain being a lot more realistic looking. And yeah, that's the number one tip. And these barns are, by the way, made out of popsicle sticks. The second tip is to put tack boxes around your barn, and this just makes your barn look a whole lot better and more professional, realistic, etc. I made this tack box by using popsicle sticks and wooden dowels, or you could use cardboard, a uh, thick cardstock, or anything that could really hold up. The items that I placed in my tack box are curry comb, pink hoof pick, a soft brush, and hoof oil. The hoof oil, curry comb, and soft brush I got from a Paradise Horse set on Amazon, and the hoof pick I made myself. The third tip is to make your own riding props, and I made these props, and I got the idea from my froggy stuff. Since I don't have a tack room yet, they're just sitting around my barn, but they still make your barn look really realistic. The fourth tip is to make food containers. I got the labels from the magazine Horse and Rider, and I got the containers from a pack of six from the Dollar Tree. I don't have anything in them yet, but soon I'm going to figure out a way to fill them up. The fifth tip is to make your own blankets, because bar blankets can be really expensive. But making your own is really easy. All you need is fabric and hot glue. That's how I made mine. The sixth tip is to put dolls around your barn. And you can make them in different positions as if they're petting them, like putting on a blanket, a saddle. And the dolls can be their owners. You can make them whatever you, think you want them to be. And this doll is Olivia, and she's a briar doll. That's all the tips for now, and hopefully I'll get my barn set up and my tack and feed room up and so I can make a briar barn tour soon. But for now, this is all, and thanks for watching. Bye!